This is Dr. Hayek and this video is about chemical kinetics. Today we will be talking about a model for chemical kinetics and catalysis. The collision model is based on the fact that molecules must collide to react. Experimental data have shown that the rate constant increases exponentially when the temperature increases. According to the kinetic molecular theory of gases, when temperature increases, the velocity of particles will increase and the rate of collision will increase. However, rate of collision is greater than the rate of the reaction. Therefore, not every collision results in a reaction. This can be explained if we assume that the reaction has a threshold energy called activation energy. The energy of the collision must be greater than the activation energy for the reaction to occur. Consider the following reaction. Two Br and O molecules must have enough kinetic energy so the collision reaches the transition state to produce products. At a specific temperature, only a fraction of the collisions possesses enough energy to overcome the activation energy. As temperature increases, the fraction of collisions with enough energy will increase dramatically. Another complication rises since the experiment has shown that the rate of the reaction is smaller than the rate of collision and this is due to molecular orientation. Some collisions with the correct orientation can lead to a reaction and some they cannot. Take for example these two examples of the correct arrangement where the reaction can occur. However, for this rearrangement a reaction cannot happen. As a result, for reactants to form products, the collision must occur with enough energy to overcome the activation energy of the reaction, and the collision must occur with the correct orientation. The rate constant then, taking into consideration the aforementioned factors, can be written as k is equal to z p exponential to minus e a over r t, where z is the collision frequency and p is the steric factor. The term e to the power minus e a over r t represents the fraction of collisions with enough energy to overcome the activation energy. Now this expression could be rewritten as k is equal to a multiplied by e to the power minus e a over r t, where a is called the frequency factor and it's equal to z multiplied by p. This equation is called the Arrhenius equation. Taking the natural log of both parties, we get ln of k is equal to minus e a over r times 1 over t plus ln of a. The plot of ln of k versus 1 over t, it gives a straight descending line where the slope is equal to minus e a over r. This expression allows us to determine the rate constant at different temperatures. For example, at a temperature T1, ln of K1 could be written as follows. At a temperature T2, ln of K2 could be written as follows. Subtracting these two expressions, we get ln of K2 over K1 is equal to minus Ea over R, 1 over T2 minus 1 over T1. Now let's discuss catalysis. Catalysts are known to speed up the reaction rates once added to the reaction mixture. Consider the following reaction where A plus B gives C plus T. This reaction has a threshold energy, which is the activation energy, and in here we call it Ea and catalyzed. Adding a catalyst to this reaction will result in speeding up the reaction rate, and this is mainly due to decreasing the activation energy of this reaction, and therefore, the fraction of collisions with enough energy to overcome the activation energy will become greater. Notice that the catalyst added in this case is a homogeneous catalyst because it's in the same phase of the reactants. Another type of catalyst is the heterogeneous catalyst where solids are added to a gaseous mixture. I hope this video was helpful to you, so please like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time.